Welcome back. So before we actually make your own repository in GitHub where you can work with your own code without touching my code, uh, I just want to make sure that things are actually running. So I want to do an ng surf. Now I have to mention before you do an ng surf, of course you have to go in and make sure that you have Node.js installed on your machine and you have run the command npm install g angular cli. That's all explained in the previous course. I just want to make sure that you guys know it. So you need those to even get started with my project here. Um, so when that is done, you can do now an ng serve. If you don't know about this, go and watch the previous course, the part one of this course. So let's just try and run an ng serve here to get everything up and running. And we'll just give it a few seconds. Now when it's running, you should see something. There's no errors, something like this. We have four, four, five different chunks here and it's running on localhost 4200. Let's see if that's actually the case. I'll just refresh 4200, localhost 4200. And here you go, we have an actual running application right here. And you should see something like this with a sign-in button and you can go back here and that's what we have right now. That's what we're going to build on. So if it's running, we're going to make a new GitHub repository. I pretty much just did that by adding the plus sign saying new repository, putting in a name like this CP2 Firebase. And now this is how we're going to create new repository using the command line. Before we do that, start up by deleting the old Git um, setup. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So step one is to go to your explorer, your finder and find your actual project and then show hidden files. In there there should be a .git folder, that's the one for my startup repository. So the repository you just created or you just cloned last time. I'm going to delete this, move it to trash the .git file. Not the git ignore, only the .git file. So just move that to trash. There we go, going back to my project here. I'm going to open a new tab here. Don't use the one we just started the application, just let that run and create a new tab and just do that with a plus sign right here. So in there I'm going to do now a git init because it was just removed the git file so I can create an empty git repository now for my new, my project, right? The one that, I, that you're going to build on yourself. Next I'm going back to the github server here and it gives me a path here. So what I'm going to do is I did a git init and I'm not going to do the readme because that already exists. I can do a git commit, but before I do that, I want to add all files just to be sure that all files are ready to be committed. So I'll do a git add everything. Now everything is added. Then I'll do a git commit and just again, everything and with a message of initial commit. There we go. And now it tries to put all of these in the local storage. And now I just need to get it to my uh, GitHub repository in the cloud. I do that by doing a git remote just to add the information about where do I actually need to push this? And right now the origin is actually this path right here, which is what we're looking at right here. So I'm going to add that now as the remote uh, location for my Git. And then the last thing, I'm going to push everything to that uh, location with this command. So now you're ready to work with your own code on your own GitHub repository. And the way you can just make sure it's up there is just refreshing the page and now it'll move the introduction on how to get running and put this in instead so you can actually see this. Now of course, right now this is the exact same thing as the starter setup, but now you can make your own git deploy, uh, git commits as you move forward and start building a real project of your own if you want to. And you could always do the same if you want to start over at some point and build a new project with some other features. See you in the next lesson where we'll start using this code and just have a look at what we actually made.